Hey, Qualcomm striking a new chips agreement with Apple and shares are popping on the news. Christina Parts and Evel is here at Post 9 with more on the backstory here, Christina. Yeah, because it's not only, well, it is considered a win for Qualcomm, not only because they will continue to provide Apple's 5G modem chips through 2026, but it also means they're going to maintain their patent licensing agreement with Apple, which means royalty revenue. Apple is designing its own Wi-Fi chips or modem chips. It even bought Intel's modem business back in 2019 to get a head start on making those in-house iPhone chips. But the fact that Apple has to continue to partner with Qualcomm just for the next three years or so shows how tough it is to make those chips. At this point, Apple still really hasn't figured it out at scale. Popular supply analyst Ming-Chi Kuo is even suggesting Apple's modem chips won't even be ready for another two years. So if it's ready in two years, well, how long does that take to actually be put in iPhones. Qualcomm doesn't actually break down the revenue, but estimates show Android's uh, revenue, come, including Samsung and other Chinese makers, contributes 54% of total revenue. Apple alone contributes 23% of total revenue. That means that stream could continue to a certain extent. We don't really know uh, the terms of the deal, the favorable pricing that Qualcomm might be giving to Apple. As well, this partnership could also offset any potential weakness potential from competitor Huawei and its new 5G iPhones, or phones, I should say, not iPhones, that could pose a threat. Since this material information, or uh, information is material, Qualcomm wanted the news out today, even though it falls out one day before the big iPhone reveal tomorrow. And you can see the, the stock has come down quite a bit. It was 8% higher in pre-market now, about two and a half at the moment. Yeah, we were Definitely. looking at uh, the best day since May at those levels, but we'll see about where it ends up, uh, as you can say, well off the highs. Thanks, exactly. Christina.